my channel! Hello! Happy New Year! In this video, I'll be sharing with you my bag collection. So after maybe two to three years of collecting and decluttering, ito na yung mga kinip ko talaga and I feel like I'm gonna keep them for good. So, kung mapapansin nyo, nasa weird space kami ng room ko. Actually, ang tagal ko nang gustong i-share itong video na to kasi this is the highly requested video na ipasok sa Vlogmas last year. But the thing is, um, I mentioned sa inyo na i-renovate yung closet ko. Magkakaroon ako ng mini walk-in closet. So sabi ko, doon ko na lang i-share sa inyo yung bag collection ko. But I realized na that's a different process and you guys really enjoyed our room renovation in Bulacan. So I would kind of do the same thing, like bring you guys into the process of creating, designing, sourcing for the room and actually seeing the before and after. So yeah, that's why we're here and I'm gonna be sharing with you my bag collection. If you wanna see the bags that I have finally decided to keep with me for good, then please keep on watching. Yay! Hindi po talaga ganda yung itsura niya ako na daily basis. Maraming salamat po sa mga tao sa kwarto na to. Sa pagtulong, sa pagmukha ay maayos siya. Sorry, nabubother na ako sa ilaw. So, let's open this na para wala na siyang pinanag-glare yung ilaw. I'll start first with Balenciaga. So, these are the two bags that I have from Balenciaga. And every time someone will ask me, what's a nice parang first luxury bag? I always say this one because it's not too loud. And sobrang functional siya. This is the City Mini. I have it in black. Ito yung gift sa akin ni Miggy for our fourth ba? Hindi ko alam kung for our fourth anniversary or birthday ko. Hindi na rin maalala ni Miggy. And this one, I got this for myself. So, yun. It's not super duper expensive. And maganda yung neutral colors niya. Tapos magagamit mo talaga. Kuhara ito, mini siya. Feeling nyo lang maliit siya guys. Pero pag daladala ko to, usually sa travel ko to ginagamit. Kasi ang dami niyang pwedeng laman. Nung inaayos namin yung setup namin dito, narealize ko na meron pala ako nito. And I think, ginamit ko lang siya once. Tapos nakalimutan ko na na, ay, may ganito pala ako. And sobrang nice niya pa kasi hindi pa siya masyadong gamit. Sorry, ang liit ko. Ayan siya, yun yung itsura niya. Okay, next is this Gucci bag. And this is a memorable bag kasi ito yung unang-unang-unang bag na talagang pinag-ipunan ko. Si Gucci Marmont, hindi ko alam kung marerecommend ko pa siya because it's ubiquitous, it's everywhere, everyone has it. But, it's also a classic of Gucci. Alam mo yun, parang ang dami niyang colors. Marami din siyang neutral colors. So, I got this during my first time in Europe. Never ever ko siya ilalit ko kasi nga, it will always remind me na siya yung unang-unang bag na pinag-ipunan ko. Okay, let's now go to Dior. So, I only have three bags from Dior. Sobrang sobrang ganda ng pieces niya. But, Dior kasi is like, when I think of Dior, parang she's very ladylike. Parang di ako yun. <laughs> Parang I'm leaning towards the mas chill lang, ganon. This is yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, feeling ko na ROI ko na na bag. This is the book tote. If you're looking for a nice canvas everyday bag, I would highly, highly suggest this. This is just a small, but I swear, yung buong buhay ko kasha dito, ginagamit ko siya for gym, for meetings, for traveling, for literally every single thing that I do in my life. So, I love this, but I'm already looking for a new one dahil Mayroon isang piece, isang part dito na nag parang run na yung stitch and I'm kind of afraid na baka magtuloy-tuloy siya. So she needs to rest. Kailangan na niyang mag-rest and ito memorable din tong bag na to kasi yung bag galing siya Italy and then pina-personalize ko siya with my parents when I went to UK and super duper special nung trip na yon because yun yung very first trip ko as an only child na sobrang na-enjoy ko po lahat ng perks. So, ayan. Ito yung pinaka-useless na bag sa collection na to. If there's any bag in this collection na hindi ko nabibilhin, kuwari babalik ako sa time, time travel, bibilhin ko pa ba siya? The answer is no. Ang oh, ganda talaga siya, you know. May face na everyone was very into, you know, the Dior saddle. If you want the saddle bag, please get the bigger sizes. And kasi ako guys, since I'm super petite, I cannot go for the size bigger than this. Kasi Kasi kinakain na ako nung bag. So, meron akong strap for this. So, para maging crossbody siya na hindi mo siya laging hawak, you have to buy this extra strap na, by the way, is super expensive. But the thing with this is, you can use it with your other bags. Like, bili ka sa Lazada ng canvas bag na walang print, na walang um, brand, you can use that. Tapos, clip mo lang to. Natutunan ko yun sa isang Korean friend. Um, the normal iPhone size. Nakaganyan siya. Kita niyo ba? pagpipilitan mo talaga siya. Pero yun na yun. Yun na talaga siya. Isang phone lang ang kasya sa kanya. Maybe a lipstick. 
uh, card holder, that's it. Ito mo pala! Okay, so my last Dior bag is a Lady Dior. So if you feel like you want just one bag from Dior, I suggest it's the Lady Dior. It's a classic and, you know, Princess Diana used to use it. Um, it comes in a lot of colors, in a lot of material. I super duper duper love this. The only thing I don't like about the mini one is ang haba niya. Yan, mahaba siya. Okay, moving forward, I'll skip Chanel muna kasi favorite brand ko talaga siya. Feeling ko ang dami kong hanash sa kanya. So, let's move to this um, shelf, which is the Hermes shelf. Let's first go with the Evelyn. So, kaya ko ito binili kasi sobrang-sobrang cute niya. Hermes as a brand, I feel like hindi ako siya. It's mature for me. And medyo yun nga, pang tita na siya. But when I saw these bags, I thought na parang sobrang, sobrang, sobrang cute niya. And it's the perfect everyday bag. And, if, and what I like about these bags, uh, magaan sila. So, ayoko kasi yung bag palang mabigat na, tapos lalagyan mo pa ng laman. So, sobrang bigat na niya. Pero these ones, super gaan. Like, literally, parang wala akong hawak. And I have it in red. So, kinuha ko yung red kasi I want a pop of color. And these ones I got from the store here in uh, Manila. And okay talaga yung price dito sa green belt kasi hindi siya super mahal. I mean, like, compared to resellers, of course. And... Ayan, cute lang to. Everyday bag ko siya. Tapos nakita ko to kanina, naka-box pa siya sis. Kakabukas ko lang kanina. Tapos na-realize ko, oh nga no, meron pala akong ganito. Perfect siya for everyday kasi, again, ayun o, no, malalim siya eh. Marami kang mailalagay sa kanya. Tsaka soft yung material niya, so mag adjust siya sa kung anong laman niya. This bag will always remind me that you get what you work for, talaga. And sa buhay ko, hindi ko in-expect na I'll be able to get a Birkin um, before I'm 30 years old. And ako kasi yung type of person na kapag ka parang mas challenging siya, mas napupush ko gawin siya. So, a Birkin is easy to get from resellers, definitely. But of course, at a higher price. So, sabi ko, uh, may challenge ko yung sarili ko na I want to get a Birkin from the Hermes store. So, this one is in dark brown. And I just love, love, love the color. Kasi, dream color ko to for a Chanel flap. And it was really, really hard to get and it was super duper expensive. So, when they offered this color to me, sabi ko, sige, I'll get it na para may reason pa ako to get the black one. So, ayan. And this is really an investment piece. Kalabas nito sa store, ang price na niya is times two. So, ayun. Even if it's used, actually, nagpapahanap ako ng used na Birkin 25 sa Japan. And sobrang mahal niya talaga. Talagang sinarange ko yung sarili ko na bilhin siya from the store. When you think of luxury brands, lalo na sa Pilipinas, ako na kung may isip, LV talaga. And I just love LV kasi, um, literally, if you don't have a lot of budget, you can buy something for yourself. If you want something more bougie, then for sure may mahanap ka sa kanila. And... Especially like last year, sobrang na love ako sa mga releases ng LV. They come out with the weirdest shape and the cutest bags ever. So, ayun. So, actually, mas marami yung LV bags namin ng mom ko before. Kasi yun nga, di ba parang, especially when you're starting with luxury, you go with LV talaga. Pero lately, nag let go na talaga kami. And ito na lang yung mga kinik ko na LV bags. So, I'm gonna start with the Palm Spring. This is... Forever, like this will always be my forever favorite everyday bag. But I stopped using it because it's already broken. Talagang nagamit ko talaga to guys. This is super memorable because my mom got this for me after I graduated from college. So kahit ganon na siya kasi ra, hindi ko siya nila let go. Next is this LV multicolored pochette. And if you've been watching my vlog, you know how much koto gusto talaga. I saw this from Japan and they were selling it for 100,000. Alam mo yun, parang alit-lit niya lang eh. But there's a reason why it's 100k. Because this was launched from years, years, years ago. And they don't come out with this print anymore. So, may karapatan naman sila talagang magtaas ng presyo. So, this one, I got it for like 70% off nung parang resale value niya from Ate Maricar. So, sobrang-sobrang happy ako. Yung downside niya lang is this came with a long strap. Eh, di ba ang cute nga ng mga pochette na ganito yung strap niya. So, itong strap na to, galing to sa ibang bag ko. Nilalagay ko lang siya dito. So, siguro yun lang yung gagastusan ko sa kanya. Yung bibilan ko siya ng original strap. But, I would never ever let go of this bag. It's just the cutest. Tingnan niya kung gano'n siya cute sa outfit ko ngayon. Like, all black, tapos white, tapos may mga pop-up color. So, sobrang ganda. Guys, pag nakita niyo to sa mga 
um, thrift store, sa mga second-hand store, kuhanin nyo na siya. Um, pag hindi pa naglabas si LV ng multicolored na monogram in the next 20 years, tataas pa lalo yung value niya. Um, this one, this is actually my mom's, but she kind of gave it to me already kasi she bought it for herself. And then, na-realize niya na hindi niya pala to style. Like, siya na yung naglagay nito sa collection ko. And, hindi ko rin maala. Ha? Mm -hmm. Ah, nagagandahan kayo dito? Ayun, nagagandahan daw sila dito. Pero ako, hindi ko to nagagamit din. So, ayun. Siyempre, hindi ko to ilalit ko kasi parang hand-me-down na to ng mom ko sa akin. Ako pala, pala mukha ko binenta ko, binigay na nga sa akin. Next one is this. Actually, hindi ko alam kung anong itsura, anong tawag sa bag na to. Parang ito ata yung beach bag ng LV. Um, I think this is from a collection, mga 3 to, mga 2 to 3 collections ago. I'm not very sure. But I've been eyeing this bag, pero parang hindi ko ma-justify sa sarili ko na PVC lang siya, like plastic lang siya. So, sabipilin ko siya for like 100 plus thousand pesos. Sabi ko, wala, there's no way I'm buying this bag. And nakuha siya ni Ate Maricar for like 40% na lang ng actual price niya. So, sis, syempre binili ko na kasi wala, sobrang cute niya. I will always love pink and PVC siya. So, di ba, I'm a beach person. I feel like I can bring this to the beach. Yun yung usually ginagawa ko. Kapag meron akong bag na super duper duper gusto ko siya. Pero I feel like sobrang mahal niya. Wait lang. As in, mag-wait lang kayo kasi for sure, lalabas din yan somewhere. Like, a person who bought it, tapos nagsawa na siya, or yun sa mga Japan reseller. Sobrang dami and sobrang big discounts yun. So, I highly suggest you follow Ate Marikar also. So, ayan. So, this is my favorite Louis Vuitton bag because it's very unusual. And this is probably my biggest parang cross-body bag. So, kung papansin nyo, hindi ako mahilig sa bags na ganito yung laki niya. I like it na malalim. Para nagko-complement siya sa body ko na manipis pa din siya, pero pahaba siya. So, they call this the Louis Vuitton Duffel Bag. And, ang sad lang dito is when you get this, these uh, mga leather, medyo off-white siya. Pero later on, magiging brown na siya. Tinanong ko yung SA ko sa LV about it and she said na, Medyo expected daw talaga yon And meron akong friend na same bag kami. Ganito na rin yung kulay niya. The only thing you have to avoid sa mga ganitong bag is watermarks. Super sad. And I went to... I went to Bangkok using this. Inulan kami ni Mickey. So, masyado, maraming watermarks dito. But I'll try to bring this to like yung mga doctor leather, ganyan, mga bags pa. And let's see kung magagawa niya ng paraan. I love this kasi parang nakaganyan ka lang. Sobrang perfect travel bag talaga to. And it also has a crossbody strap na hindi ko po alam kung nasaan. So let's now move on to my small parang Prada bags. And I have them in three colors. So this one, um... Guys, halos lahat ata ng content creator ay meron itong Prada bag na to. And it's a classic of Prada talaga. Tapos, um, mukha siyang maliit pero grabe. Si Rai, pag gamit niya sa kanya, sobrang sobrang daming laman. And ako, same. Actually, ito guys, meron na siyang filling sa loob. Kasi sobrang used and abused ko na siya to the point na pag wala siyang laman, parang flat na talaga siya. So, sobrang ginagamit ko talaga siya. So, ayan, super perfect bag siya. It's a tiny bag, but it can fit a lot of things. And guess what? I got this for less than 10,000 pesos. So, they're selling this in store for like 30,000, 35,000. Nabili ko siya sa isang second-hand store. Sa mga thrift store sa Instagram. Luma na tong version na to, guys, eh. So, the new version is kind of like this. Ito siya. Yung parang ganitong nylon. Um, yung re-edition nila. It says here, the re-edition 2005. So, ito na yung bago. So, ito na yung kind of more expensive nila. So, if you see this, again, if you see this sa uh, isang Instagram na nagbebenta, bilhin nyo na. And then, next one, I have the pochette naman in... Hindi ko alam anong tawag dito. Pero yung parang naka... Crumple, crumple siya. Tapos magpipink ako. Wala nang stock. So, yeah, red na lang. Pero na-realize ko, same color siya with my Evelyn. So, medyo nasad ako. Pero, yeah, cute pa rin siya. And my last um, Prada pochette is this white one. I got this from Ate Amy of Love Docs Bags. And this is a limited edition colorway. Kasi usually parang all white lang siya. Pero ito yung parang beige and white. Diba si... Um, Louis Vuitton, may multi-pochette siya na kind of expensive talaga. Ito, cute siya. Ito, pwede mo nalagay ito sa harap. So, ayan, you can use it with the crossbody, but you can also use it na pag-ganito lang. 
Ayan. So what I like about Prada bags, they're not that expensive, but it's a classic. It's very functional and hindi high maintenance. Last, but definitely not the least, let's go to my fave, fave, fave brand, Chanel. So, Chanel for me, when I started buying bags, I never thought I would get this much na Chanel bags until a lot of people around me would educate me on how Chanel bags are actually an investment. And talagang napatunayan ko na yan. Kasi, uh, may mga bags ako na may mag-message akin na, oh, I can buy that for this price. Nakikita na talaga ako, pero hindi ko siya ma-let go because I know that time will come na it's gonna go higher pa. So, if you guys are unfamiliar, Chanel, they usually um, do price increase, I think, twice a year. I'm not very, very sure. But definitely, every single year, my price increase si Chanel. So, I will give you an example. This is the very, very first Chanel bag that I got for myself. This is a Chanel wallet on chain. Maliit lang siya. Ayan. Mahaba yung strap niya. So, tinatali ko siya. Tapos, tinatpasok sa loob. Time na nabili ko to, nabili ko siya ng 90,000 pesos. Now, they're selling this for what? 120,000 pesos. And that's the reason why I started collecting Chanel bags. But, not all Chanel bags are parang investment pieces. May mga iba na bumababa din yung price niya. But, I suggest you get it in caviar leather because caviar leather must... Hindi siya prone to scratches since may texture siya. Um, my mom's friend visited Ireland. It was really, really cheap doon. So, pinabili ko tong um, boy na parang length twice. And I mentioned ko nga sa inyo na si boy, di ba, medyo ano siya, very structured and very parang hard siya tignan. It's, uh, it has harsh edges. And I didn't want something nga na pa ganun. So, when I saw na they released parang a satchel version of the boy, Ayan, I made sure I'm gonna get it for myself. Pag tinatanong nila ako, are you a gold hardware or a silver hardware person? I don't think I'm any. I'm actually good with both. Kasi itong boy ko na to in silver hardware, sobrang ganda niya with like an all black outfit. Scratch na siya. So, alam mo talaga. So, ugh. Nakakatakot gamitin ng mga ganyang leather. Okay, next is this. Pag nakikita ko itong bag na to, natatawa lang ako kasi... Grabe yung pinagdaanan ko sa kanya. But for me, this one kasi, I mainly got this because of kumon yung. Dahil alam naman na obsess ako sa it's okay not to be okay. Medyo wild ako mag-obsess over K-drama. And I badly, badly, badly wanted to get this for myself. And it was super, super hard to get it. So, the only thing I hate about this bag is, since mabigat yung hardware niya, bumabagsak siya. Then, nag-crease yung bag. And again, this is not a caviar leather. So, napaka, napaka, napaka delicate niya. And natatakot ako na bumagsak talaga siya. So, sabi ko, hintayin ko muna yung bag organizer ko para at least mabigyan siya ng shape. Tapos ito, si Hazel lang yung nakapansin. This is what I hate about this bag. I mean, I love you, pero nakakainis na ganito ka. Ito kasi, di ba, may ganyan siya. May, may handle siya dito. Um, since dito siya nag-rest, nagagasgas na yung likod. Yan. Na... Ang hirap. Ang hirap iwasan. Kasi pipili ka, anong gagasgasan niya? Ito? Or ito? Siyempre, ilikod na lang, sis, di ba? So, iniisip ko, lagyan ko ba siya ng twili or something? Mm -hmm. uh, please comment down below. Message me. Ano po ba dapat kong gawin sa bag na to? Because she's so pretty and so precious. Kailangan ko talaga siyang ingatan ng todo-todo. Siya na siya <laughs> Probably my purchase that a lot of people hated me. Kasi, bakit mo binili yan, sis? Eh, cute naman siya eh, di ba? Sabi nila, wala daw kasha dito. Kasha kaya yung phone ko. <laughs> so, I got this flip phone, again, because of kumon yung. And sabi ko, perfect. Perfect talaga. And so, nagkasha dito yung phone, kasha yung card case, lipstick, um, yung oxycure na alcohol, kasha din siya. So, ayan. Gusto ko kasi yung mga tiny bags na malapit sa um, torso ko. Ayoko yung mga bags na nasa legs ko na. So, super, super cute na to. So, so far, ito yung mga classic Chanel flaps that I got for myself. And yun nga yung sinabi ko na not all Chanel bags are an investment piece. But you will never go wrong with a classic flap. Especially a medium one. Like, um, pagka may price increase, usually, lahat naman sila mag increase Pero, um, pagdating sa mga resellers, pagdating sa mga used vintage Chanel bags, 
you would see the medium would cost so, so much. So if you can buy a Chanel medium right now, I suggest you do it because it's really an investment piece. If you're thinking of getting a Chanel piece na a good investment, it's really the medium one. Kasi siya yung nakikip niya yung price niya and um, kahit used na siya, mahal pa din siya binibenta. I love it in gold hardware and in caviar leather. So this is a medium in black and this is my only medium bag. So, um, I tried to get another one before the price increase nung January 15. So, ayan. Nag-text na ako kay Ate Amy. Sabi ko, before the price increase, let's do it. So, kahit na may medium ako, I think this will always, always, always be my favorite Chanel bag because I got this from a very memorable trip. So, I got this during my Japan trip with sila Hazel, sila Tony. We all, most of us, we got a bag during that trip. And this one kasi is really a rare piece. Uh, kahit medyo mahal siya, like sobrang close. I got this second hand na ha, pero sobrang lapit ng presyo nito sa brand new na medium na nag-increase na. And I don't regret it because it's really, really, really beautiful. It's not something you would see everywhere. And kailangan ko lang siya siguro ipabags pa kasi nga may mga konting mga dumi. Yeah, dumi na lang matatanggal naman. So, kung nag-iisip kayo kung small or medium, ito yung difference. Isang diamond lang ang difference niya. And in terms of like yung ilalim, medyo pareho lang talaga siya. So, totoo lang. Hindi sobrang laki ng difference nila. Pero, a medium looks really good. Sa Chanel ko lang gusto yung parang kinakain niya ako. Okay lang Chanel. Ganun. Okay, so, patapos na tayo. And here I have my three classic flap minis. Ayan, so this is a mini rack and medyo, ano mo siya, gamit na siya. Very puffy pa din siya, pero may mga flaws na talaga siya. Pero sabi ni Miggy, he loves the color. So, ayaw niya na i-let go ko to. And... This one, this is a very, very, very beautiful very siya tapos silver hardware. And ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na ayoko. Yung problem ko kasi sa mini, ang haba-haba niya. So if I'm gonna compare this to a small or a medium, yung strap, tignan nyo. Ayan o. Ayan. So, kaya I stopped buying mini bags already kasi nga ayoko na mahaba yung strap until Miss Jamie Cruz budled me into this beauty. Sobrang cute. As you can see, sa collection natin, wala tayong bright na color. Si red kasi parang hindi siya yung parang pink. Alam mo yun, parang hindi siya parang neon ni -ne, Parang ganun. Pero this one, it's so so bright. I think it's brighter in person compared to the camera. But this is a Chanel Mini um, from the Pearl Crush edition. Which again means na na-adjust ko yung strap niya. So, pwede ko siya gamitin na ganito. Tapos ito, ipapasok mo lang siya. Jan. So this is super duper worth it. I'm not sure if they're gonna release or if they're gonna keep the Pearl Crush um, na collection. So mga sis, if you want something in mini but you want it, um, you want the strap to be adjustable, then I highly recommend you get this. Sa lahat sila, pare-pareho sila na lambskin. These are caviar. So kahit na ganyan-ganyan yun po sila, hindi sila magagasgas. Pero huwag niyo pong gawin. So, yeah, that is it for today's video. I super duper enjoyed talking about my bags sa inyo. And I get, again, a lot of people would think na parang, ano ba yan, luho lang yan. There's nothing wrong with spending for yourself, especially pag alam nyo, afford nyo, at hindi lang yun ang meron kayo. Of course, you prioritize the important things in life, of course. There's nothing wrong with spending for yourself. And ako... Buti na lang, I'm very, very lucky that I have a lot of people around me who educate me on things like this na parang, oh, ito, huwag mo na itong bilhin kasi sayang lang pera mo dyan. So, yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Happy New Year! If you have any 2021 vlog records, you can link it down below. And before I end the video, I promise you during Vlogmas that I will be giving away this vintage um, Chanel. I'm not sure if this is a hobo or a baguette or hindi ko na po alam ang pangalan niya because this is vintage already. So yeah, you can just check out the description box for the mechanics so you guys can get this BB. Bye! I'll see you next time!